Welcome to Sandbar Serenity. Today we are at the 2024 Palm Beach International Boat Show and we are excited to see some amazing boats today. So come along with us as we tour the show. All right, this boat for me is very exciting. This is the 325 GTO. See the price range in the 800,000 area. About 18,000 pounds, 32 feet long. This is the everyday man's galleon with twin 400s on it. And that uh, fold down side platform is really, really awesome. It really expands the beam of the boat, especially when you're out on the water, just relaxing. Just beautiful interior, sea deck throughout. Massive speakers, Just look like 10 inches. And then maybe some sixes. But just exquisite look and feel. You can feel the quality as soon as you walk into the boat. Then you have your summer kitchen on the right which would be the port side. Then you have your aft lounger, which makes this really nice social space behind the captain's chairs. So we'll take a look forward again. And then moving up to the helm station, we have Twin Ray Marines look like 16-inch uh, screens. 325 GTO badging on the seats. Very beautiful form on those seats. Very, very nice construction. And then you have this air conditioning radio up top. Underneath the hard top, which also looks like it's convertible. And then a rear sunshade. Then we'll walk through to the bow, through the pass-through. Really high gunnels on this one, almost like the Aviara. Uh, these are maybe about three and a half feet high, as opposed to solid four on the Aviara. But a very, very large and spacious bow area. And that glass is probably in the neighborhood of six and a half feet across. Exceptionally large. I always like these uh, port side pass-throughs because it, it allows you to do so much more and doesn't break up the social space as opposed to a dual console where you walk through the center and you basically have a, a port and starboard side but this allows everybody to sit together very very comfortably and enjoy and also lay out in a full length <clears throat> and enjoy the space all right so heading back All right, so we're back in the cabin area again. We're gonna head down underneath, take a look at what we have here. So following the steps down, we've got a forward seating area. And this is actually really high. You can see the TV here but I'm just over six feet and we have at least another six inches on top of that in which you can stand. Full bathroom. And then behind that, we have another berth. So very beautiful boat. Similar styling to the 320 as far as the um, downstairs uh, area with the rear sleeping and the forward um, table in the bow area. But galleon level quality all throughout in styling. Just absolutely beautiful. 
All right, we'll keep moving forward. And let's head on. All right, so first you're greeted with just this fantastic seating area across the back. And you can see the table supports in the decking and then heading into the main cabin. So on the port side, your summer kitchen, very large. And on starboard, you have triple seats at the helm with a nice interior seating area. It'll easily fit five to six people comfortably. LED lighting across the top. Really large boat. This has that 11 to 12 foot feel across the beam. Triple screens. Triple Ray Marines. These look like 16s with air conditioning right on the helm. Joystick. And then the classic GTO seats that are also adjustable. All right, we'll move forward and then we'll head down in just a second. So really high gunnels on this one as well, about three and a half feet. Just beautiful colors with the gray absolutely love it and just how massive this seating area is phenomenal you could easily have six to seven people up here fully lounging very comfortable and just enjoying the day this is a very very large bow seating area wow just beautiful beautiful craftsmanship on this boat and very sporty feeling you don't feel like you're just pushing a big yacht. You feel like it's ready to just get up and go. It's awesome. All right, so heading down. Okay, so we have our forward cabin, which is nice and square as opposed to tapered like a lot of the other ones. So you could actually fit two people straight you know and straight sleeping on this instead of them both having to angle in towards each other this is really nice i like that and then you get all the the uh, glass to bring in the natural light and be able to see the water as you're cruising very nice and then a big screen tv over here on the uh, starboard side and then your kitchen And then coming down here, you have twin berths. That looks like a single on the starboard side and then a double on the port side. Really nice LED lighting, electrical outlets, everything. Very, very nice. And then here's your bathroom. And you've got a full standing shower here that is enclosed, which is just fantastic. Love it. All right, that finishes up our galleon tour. Let's keep moving forward. All right, we're gonna look at now the Galleon 500 fly. Okay, so stepping aboard, we can see the gunnels on the starboard and port fold down providing that extra entertaining space, which is phenomenal on a boat this size.
rear seating area, which definitely is a step down from the 680 or the 800. But here you can see the gunnels on the port side fold down. And then you have these two seats here. And those open up to the inside and you slide the glass and you can actually access those seats almost like a bar situation. So you just pull the glass back with this handle right here. Really, really neat. Okay, so moving forward into the cabin. Really nice seating area and kitchen. What a beautiful feel for a 500. Looks like twin 16 inch screens. But definitely a, a step down in the craftsmanship from the 680 and the 800. You can feel that difference in presence when you walk on board in the materials, but still incredibly nice for a 500 at this price point. So here's your forward berth, which is actually really small. You'd be hard pressed to have two people sleep comfortably on this, but I do like the uh, side windows, which allow you to see the water as you're cruising. Okay. Here's the bathroom. Standing shower, plenty of head space, well over six feet. And then heading down into the main cabin. And again, these full size windows on the side really provide a tremendous amount of presence for this room, just light it up with a bunch of natural light. And then you have these Alcantara um, feeling uh, ceilings, which is super nice. And then a TV and a closet off to the starboard side here. And then a little seating and dressing area over on the port side. Really nice use of space. Beautiful, beautiful area. All right. We'll head back up. And then we'll head forward. So awesome to see these gunnels folded down like this. Just a tremendous amount of space. All right, now this is a slightly narrower walkway. Hence the handlebar across the top. But a big seating area up front with the glass that goes over into the main cabin up in the bow area. All right, and then all we have left is the top fly deck. All right, so the fly deck is accessed from the stern. And again, the reduction in materials from the 680 and 800 are definitely noticed. A, a, definitely a cheaper feel to it, but still very, very amazing as far as the presence that you get on the boat. You have all those spaces except smaller. All right, that wraps up the 500. All right, let's take a look at the Galleon. This is the 2024 680 Fly. Just a very, very beautiful port lounge on the left of the boat here, and then the stern lounge across the back. Amazing for sitting out and just sunning. 
coming into the main cabin. Meal prep area, all air conditioned. Exquisite craftsmanship, beautiful materials. Twin Raymarine screens and Galleon Signature Captain seats. And then heading down. into the main cabin. See our forward berth in the master stateroom. The main head. And then we have a second berth with two beds. And then a third right across the hall with two more beds. And then we'll head up. Beautiful leather wrap on the rails. Everything nicely polished. This looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so heading out the starboard captain's door. We'll head forward. got this amazing seating area up front in the bow area with plenty of space for fun and folks to hang out and chill while you are cruising and we'll head up to the fly deck now all right so coming off the stern we'll then head right up the stairs to the deck another really big sun pad for folks to hang out and relax fly deck helm station And another beautiful seating area across the rear for relaxing, eating, enjoying time together. All right, that wraps up our quick look at the 680 Fly. Now let's look at the Galleon 800 Fly. See, this is 83 feet long cruises at about 25 miles an hour. All right, stepping aboard. Got our toy compartments across the back. Get a really nice aft seating area with a sunshade to block that sun in the evening when you're cruising at sunset and a gorgeous main cabin beautiful seating area port and starboard with a main dining table meal prep area and triple Raymarine screens on the helm, the twin seats. And then we will head down
We'll head forward into the main cabin. It is amazing how much larger this is than the 680 fly. The space is just spectacular. Beautiful appointments, luxurious style and design. It's a ready area, your private bathroom with a full standing shower. Okay. And then on the left, we have twin berths in a stateroom. And then it looks like we have the master stateroom back here, which this is underneath the helm area. Private bath, a seating area, big screen TV, all right, this is really, really impressive. And then it looks like a, a dressing area, kind of closet area, if you will. Wow. Very impressive boat. Beautiful. All right, so we will head back up. Back into the main cabin. All right, so now we're on the port side, heading forward. Really wide walkway, which is great, especially if you're carrying fenders or gear or anything to the front. You're not banging into the sides and walking one foot in front of the other. I can actually walk comfortably down the side. Then a beautiful forward seating area, very large. And there we go. All right, we'll see if we can head up to the fly deck and check that out. Okay, to access the fly deck, you come aft and you walk up your steps here. And this is a really, really large space. So we'll head forward again, just like on the 680 fly, you have that sun pad. So you can have your family, friends laying out in front of you while you're driving the boat with twin, looks like 16 inch Ray Marines in this secondary helm station, joystick, throttle, and then a kind of a summer kitchen, if you will, or on the starboard side, lounge seating on the port. And then a very large aft on the fly deck seating area again for relaxing and enjoying. What a fantastic boat, incredibly large. All right, I hope you enjoyed this walk through the Palm Beach International Boat Show. We saw some amazing boats today, had an awesome experience. I highly recommend anybody to come to the Palm Beach International Boat Show. It really is top notch. If you haven't experienced it, you definitely need to. And if you ever get the opportunity, tour all the boats that you can because the knowledge and information you'll gain will be second to none. Again, thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment.